Hi guys, Ben here, welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't been posting videos in a while. <coughs> I've just um, gotten out of, um, well, just finished my, an operation. Guys, there will be more videos on the channel, but just not as much as I normally would post. Forget it. <coughs> Today is part 22 of Watch Dogs Legion. Six, sit back, relax, and enjoy this gameplay. Now, I don't know exactly what I have to be doing here. Oh, I think it's safe house I have to go to. So we'll just see. Um, fast travel, yes. Sir. This is what it's all about. It won't be a long video today, guys, unfortunately. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Well, that's suspiciously convenient. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name, Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet, Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption, like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. Damn. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Let's do it. Boil over this situation. Whoa, just be cool. Okay. Need a car. This will do. Get there as fast as we can.
need a lift. Here apparently. Bellati has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Time to introduce ourselves. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. My guy is proper paranoid, isn't it? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Message received. Oh, fair enough. I need a drone, I think. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bagley, those windows, are they a viable option? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Copy that. Yeah, I'm trying to think how to get up there. <sighs> Control the Google. Yeah. That won't work. Need a cargo droid. Uh, cargo droid. Pull that thing up there.
How do I get on that thing? Like that. I get it. That's how you do it. You can have whatever you like. Yeah. Bam. Look at this. The place is packed to the gills with traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. <laughs> Got to that. Sorry, guys. But, uh, it's hard to call Welcome to stitches. Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout of the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Okay, here we go. works.
idea. I think I got it. Yeah. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Sound effects, put in bits. Oh, I can't handle this. I think you should call him a little slack. At the end of the dark, there's only a few people here, isn't it? Eve for open. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Now, now, no need for that. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Wrong. Think more insurgent. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen to me. Albion knows you're in London. You need to get out of here now. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, Cass is worse than you know. Worse than we know. We know. We know. Why else do you think I'd fucking be here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. We're not with Cass. He fucking tried to kill us, mate. We need to stop him and we need your help to do it. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what. Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! 
And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck. Think, Amish. Think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! They want me really bad, don't they? I need to buy it. 
Control, we have a visual on the suspect. Units, target on foot. Over. There's our suspect. Get in the car, you shitbox. Drive now enabled. Alright. Control, we are pursuing the suspects. Over. Immobilize that vehicle. All units force this suspect to stop. Use a pursuit intervention technique. Target's vehicle. I saw a suspect. They're on foot. Over. Just give up. No. Had every Albion police on me in the area. Well, because I was trying to track down a hacker. The fuck. Does that mean I failed the mission? He's my next best fighter. Please tell me you can fight me, dude. <laughs> Friends just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't <laughs> cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative to No problem. Uh, it's what I'm here for. This Let's do this. Needs more clothes first, or better clothes. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Got to stay. What other characters do I have? Team. Hi, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, awesome. I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state. Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever. 
I don't know. I, I probably should buy something cool like a vehicle, but I don't know if you can do that though. Hang on. up to we need eyes on that meeting i've always wanted to be in on a caper okay first things first we'll need eyes on the impregnable target so off you go i'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits ah shit i'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy ip must have traced the detonator signal i've got to deal with this reported in your area potentially armed and hostile received We'll engage if necessary. Control, I can't see the suspect. Please advise. I just had the microphone off the whole time and I didn't even know about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's second to that other guy was there. Failure to comply will result in extreme measures. Hostile targets. Let's begin. Well, he's got a nice gun. Control. I've lost sight of the target. Over. Control. I could use some assistance. Over. Maybe I should just shouldn't, you know, piss off the authorities. I just oh he's injured now. Swap characters. Oh objective, okay. Please tell me you can fight. teammate is en route to hospital, where they'll be for the foreseeable future. Damn, I hope they're all right. Maybe a little payback will make it better. I look at the exit. 
Finally, let's get him a call. Seems your mate took quite a fashion and has wound up in hospital. They won't be available for some time. If you're feeling clever, you might consider recruiting a paramedic to the team. It's a brilliant way to shorten that hospital stay and get your teammate back online. What outfit can I get him? I reckon I can make her look badass as hell. Hello, hello. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. Let's do it. Who's going to freak out? Understand why I have to get out of the area. Oh, we Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed this video, yeah. a sub channel would be amazing. As always, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.